This video demonstrates a ptosis repair in a pediatric patient. The kid had a 2 mm ptosis on the right eye with a 7 mm of liver function. A liver advancement will be performed. A small blepharoplasty is made and Westcott scissors are used to excise a flap of skin in orbicularis. Dissection is carried out through the septum in order to identify the preponeurotic fat. You can notice a thick septum, usually found in children. How patient on the globe can guide your dissection? At this point, some anatomical landmarks must be identified, such as the preponeurotic fat, the levetoaponeurosis, and the tarsal plate. 18 mm of a section will be performed. The amount of levator exposed depends upon the amount of advancement needed. Dissection is then carried out between the levator aponeurosis and the underlying Miller's muscle. This is performed superiorly towards with nose ligament. A double arm 6O silk suture is placed partial thickness through the anterior surface of the tarsus, with care not to violate the conjunctival. The suture is then placed through the levator aponeurosis at the desired distance. The first suture is brought into place in the point of optimal lift, and an additional suture is then placed laterally for a better height and contour. Sutures are then tied permanently. The redundant elevator opener roses is excised with Westcott scissors. Finally, the incision is closed by incorporating the levator ponerosis into the closure. This is performed in order to recreate the lead crease with a 6O vitreal suture. Often, when a suture is placed, it will need to be left untied so that the adjacent suture can be placed. By the time sutures are tied, you can notice the resolution of eyelash doses. This patient will have a frost suture postoperatively to prevent exposure keratopathy. At the conclusion of the case, the eyelid appears to be in good position with a good contour.